Alan, yeah, obviously a very, very decent win for the, the lads last weekend. It was pleasing. It was it was tough, and we knew it was going to be tough. And and the it, as you say, very pleasing to get the the five points really. Bit of a boost, I suppose, going back into Europe. Been in some, some good form in the month of November. No, the, we've we've I think Jim said after the the game last week that he was he was pleased, he was satisfied with how we'd gone during the uh, the international period. And uh, as you say, very very pleasing, and we're we're the top of the top of the table going into Europe. What's it been like having the uh, the international boys back around then? No, it's good. You can see the level, the level of intensity rises, and the, you can see that they're switched on straight back into the forward in terms of North Ham, how we think here at Northampton Saints, and they're, they're desperate to get involved. Are they all in good shape. They'll come back and skate. Um, yeah, I think they are on skate. I hesitate in terms of good shape because I think international rugby is pretty, uh, pretty brutal and pretty physical. But I think now in general, general they're all okay. They've, they've trained this week. Looking at, I suppose, in the past, Jim was talking about it. You've you've perhaps integrated them maybe too quick sometimes. Maybe is there is there a worry about the, that ahead of this weekend? Um, I think he, we, Jim, as you said, has talked talked about that last season after the uh, the Six Nations. Um, but it's something we, we've taken on board, and we'll, we'll see see how we go with this week and next. I suppose overall, though, you can't complain about having the likes of Dylan Hartley, Courtney Laws, Tom Wood come back into it. No, no, they're, they're fantastic players, and we, we see that week in, week out here, and uh, again when they go away and represent England, that they they perform every single time they uh, they take to the the, fit, the, the pitch. A few updates in George North. How's he? Cause Jim said he was he's obviously going to take a look at him when he came back in on Monday. How's he been? As I say, with with the concussion protocol, he has to go through each stage um, before. So he has to pass the stage before he can move on to the next one. So he, he's, he's touch and go. So he did, he did sustain concussion, did he? Or yes. He, he did. Yeah, yeah. So obviously he has to be careful with that. And yeah. In terms of play, like George PC, how's he doing? In terms George PC is doing, he's doing well. So he's he's had a he trained last week. Um, he's had a full training in a uh, um, week this week, and he's uh, he's in the mix. That's great news for you, though, isn't it? But I suppose Tom Stevenson's really sort of laid his claim down for that place, isn't it? Anyway, I think with with uh, Tom, Tom was um, injured to start of the season, um, but him coming and playing and performing these last few weeks, he's he's good in terms of the the, the squad. And we've talked about the strength of the squad last week, last season in terms of people pushing within. And again, St Steve O's coming, and for him to get the twelve or thirteen spot, he's he's pushing pushing international. So he's got to raise his game. So it's uh, it's, uh, it's 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 a positive thing within the squad at the minute. How difficult will it be then to select a team this weekend? Because it seems like there are so many options with all the players you've got coming back at the moment. Um, it's always difficult in terms of the team that we select. It, but what one something we've always got to realise is we're working to get through the season to put ourselves into the best position possible come come the end of the season. What do you make to this double header? Then it's slightly different to the length of the double header last year because obviously the, the nature of the team and, and you know they haven't been in the best of form. What do you make to Trevisa? No, they're tough. They're, you look at their, and as you say, they've not been in the best of form. But the last last couple of weeks, they pushed Cardiff close away and they drew with Leinster. So they're they're a team that likes to play play rugby. Um, they'll be tough at home. I think Racing Metro found that in the uh, in an earlier round. But um, we need to go there. We need to we need to be on our game to if we want to win. They did, of course, get a draw against Leinster, so some points for them there. I suppose that was a nice little reminder for you of what they're capable of, just in case you needed it. No, definitely, I think. But we, we need to go there. We need to. We, we'll have our heads on, um, and we need to be professional. I suppose with you now, there's no real margin for error in this competition, is there? Exactly. We need to. But I think in, I've, I've already said outside in terms of there's, there's six games um, in this in this competition, and you, we need to. We, we go into all of them at targeting a win.